ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another nba 2k22 build video first and foremost out of all you guys that watch my videos only about eight percent of you guys are subscribed right now so if you could leave a like hit that sub button and turn on post notifications that way you're notified every time i drop a new video i greatly appreciate it it's a good way to support the channel and it's absolutely free now this is for those of you who are already subscribed only 19 percent of you guys have your notifications on so going forward as long as you um go ahead and comment noti game within first hour first hour of the video being dropped i'm going to show some love to you guys at the beginning of all my videos you guys are the ones that should be celebrated you're the most loyal subscribers i have and i appreciate you guys also now in this video we have a uh, prom lebron james now I know LeBron's had a few proms, but for 2K purposes, I feel like his Miami Heat days are always the best one to use just because he had career highs in like three point percentage, um, defensive efficiency, and he had incredible athleticism and playmaking as always. So Miami Heat, LeBron James, small forward, right handed number six jersey. Now for the build, we're going 6'8", 185. Look, when, whenever you're making the LeBron James build, honestly, you, you probably want him to be more faster than anything. Uh, so I'll, I'll always go minimum weight. It doesn't really matter. But I feel like faster LeBron is better than having the extra weight on him and giving him a little bit more strength because that's just personal preference. So, I mean, you can switch it if you want. I went 185, 71 wingspan, body shape defined. All right, so here we have basically... I'm LeBron James, badge layout, you got 18 finishing, 24 shooting, 26 playmaking, and 20 defense. And I'll explain quickly how why I did everything as I'm going through it and why he doesn't have more finishing badges as far as that. But close shot, 47, driving layup, 80, driving dunk, 92, 70, standing dunk, no post control. So now for finishing, if you um hit, uh, I think it was like level... 38 39 something like that last uh season then you'll get the plus one badge upgrade kind of thing that they do and that happens every time you make a new build plus they also given out the the plus four that you would have got for going to college they just basically hand that to you now so now you if you hit uh 38 39 last season then you'll automatically get that plus five and then it'll be plus six if you also hit it this season so with that being said, you can sacrifice badges in some areas. That way, once you actually make the build, you can go in and add some to them. So at that point, then you can add some to the finishing. So he'll have more finishing and it'll be a little bit more uh, well-rounded. But driving layup 80, you get all the animations for that. Driving dunk 92 for the elite contacts. Um, 70 standing dunk just to open up some more of the um, little packages that you can get and just give you uh, access to standing dunks under the rim and a little bit more um badge upgrades as far as like fast twitch is concerned so for shooting miami lebron could could shoot the ball pretty good um pretty sure he posted like three point percentage highs for his career at that point so 77 mid-range 83 three ball 82 free throw um free throw like i said you can basically take it down up it if you can hit with a, uh, a lesser free throw definitely take it down put the uh, attributes somewhere else if you want more then you can tweak it add more to it 83 three ball you do get limitless spot up on goal so that was a big thing you can even drop it down one more but get limitless spot up on goal that that way you can shoot from as far as possible um and then just mid-range 77 in case you ever get caught down there and actually just needed a little bailout to help you if you can't reach the rim so gives you a little in-between game playmaking pass accuracy 90 ball handle 81 speed with ball 75 pass accuracy 90 self-explanatory i wanted to make sure i got gold dimer so he needed that um you could put it higher if you choose but i felt like 90 was it was a good spot it's it's low-key overkill but like i said it's a lebron james build so i just wanted to make it a little bit accurate to him ball handle 81 kind of self-explanatory at 6'8 you want the highest ball handle that you can get same with speed with ball uh 75 want to make sure you get quick first step you can't get quick first step 
at certain heights on gold so speed with ball you just have to leave it up as an actual attribute that you need in the game now for defense interior defense 50 perimeter 89 steel 81 block 86 offensive rebound 51 defensive rebound 81 um you're not really going to be inside for offensive rebound a lot but 51 it'll work because you'll be able to get silver rebound chaser so as long as you're in a good position to get the board when you're on the offensive end in case you need to get it you'll be able to get it uh that's the only reason i went with 81 defensive rebounds so i could get silver rebound chaser 86 block um having chase down artists and, and rim protector up pretty high it's actually really good if you want a uh, gold rim protector you can up the, the wingspan a little bit but you'll lose some stuff in other areas Steel 81, you could even drop this down one just so you know you hit that threshold and then just add it somewhere else. But I really just put it right there. From the defense 89, it's really good for being 6'8. Um, interior defense 50. Um, I've watched some videos, talked to a few people about um, what they feel about interior defense. And honestly, it really comes down to just not being in the, the restricted area and trying to jump and block rather than like putting your hands up on defense when you're you're playing defense inside and you'll be fine but i just threw it on 50 just in case and who likes getting dunked on nobody right so interior defense 50 mixed with the uh the 86 block throwing room protector and it'll be good physical speed is 80 acceleration is 77 no strength 80 vertical and 70 stamina by putting the stamina on 70, you don't have to spend any uh, VC on it when you're making this build to automatically be maxed out. So I'm I'm starting to just leave my builds back at 70 rather than adding more. Unless I'm doing a lot of extra stuff on the build where I'm not going to be like super, super active for whatever reason, then maybe I'll put it up. But I'm just kind of leaving my stuff at 70. 80 vertical is, is the sweet spot for me personally. A lot of my builds won't go over 80. I feel like 80 is just the perfect point. Um, 77 acceleration and 80 speed at 68 is actually really really good so with the plus four that you get from gym rat 84 speed at 68 crazy so for takeovers we got team badge boost and finishing moves um lebron passes the ball a lot slashes to the rim so i feel like these were perfect um he's team oriented as far as like getting his teammates involved so getting your teammates uh basically team takeover and then going crazy with your finishing moves or you can even switch it out and go with easy blow bys if you choose that route or like i said earlier he shoots the ball pretty well in miami so sharp take or even double up on team takeover boost it just depends you also get lock take as well Two-way inside-out score, and that's basically what I thought. Latrell Sprewell, LeBron James, Mikael Bridges. Now, in my opinion, this basically embodies LeBron in Miami. Defense, inside-out, he could finish inside. He was shooting the ball a lot. And he was actually looking to go get a bucket in in Miami. Like, even early on in Cleveland, his, his 08, 09 years, he was looking to get a bucket, but his game wasn't as rounded as it was when he went to Miami. So basically add everything to his his Cleveland days and then top it off with him looking to go get a bucket and, and just being that dominant player that he was. But as you can see, from LeBron James built away inside out score. Um, personally, I think this is a really good rendition of him. Um, always, always in the comments, bro. Let me know what y'all guys want to see, whether it be more builds, uh, gameplay, certain players, things of that nature. And definitely just always don't forget to leave that like, hit the sub button, turn on post notifications. Now we know if I ever time I drop a new video. Remember, people who comment know the game within the first hour of videos drop and always get to show love at the beginning of my videos going forward um that's basically gonna wrap it up for this video uh, i know i didn't do any face cams i'm basically just trying to catch up on a lot of the content i was supposed to drop earlier this month so once i get back on schedule and everything's good i'll do some more face cams i'm just kind of recording a bunch at one time so I'm, I'm really just trying to get through it get everything put out but if you made it this far i appreciate you guys sticking around watching the video leaving that like you know always showing that love showing that support appreciate you guys so much i'll catch you guys in the next one